Oh no, the music begins. And so the day ends. Just before midnight, Emiya Shiro must carry out his daily routine of using magic. I stretch out and adjust my breathing. I try to empty my mind. I ignore everything around me and pay attention only to what is inside me. Tres. Oh. Tres. Oh. As if to hypnotize myself, I murmur the spell I'm long accustomed to. No, I really am hypnotizing myself. Yeah, that sounds super weird. As I have no magic crest and no knowledge of magic, a spell is only a change to myself. Normally, there are no lines in a human body to allow the passage of magical energy. To artificially change my body to create such a line, I need enough concentration to unify my whole body and every nerve within it. Magic is a battle with yourself. For instance, at this very moment, I am inserting a burning steel rod into my backbone. That, that sounds very painful. This metal rod is the only magic circuit I can prepare for myself. When I insert it this deep into my body and connect it to the other nerves, I can finally become a magus. This is not a metaphor. In reality, something like a burning tongue, which cannot be seen or felt, is being inserted into my backbone. Dude, this sounds super painful and unpleasant. Wait, who the hell is that? Is that Kiritsugu? Yes, it is. The man who said so was really a magus. A living magus who performed many marvels and had touched the very structure of the world. Yeah, but a sorcerer is on a whole different level though. As a young child, I admired him and asked him to teach me magic. But you cannot become a magus just through effort. It requires born talent and appropriate knowledge. And of course, I have no talent. And Kiritsugu taught me nothing of magic. He said something about me having no need of such knowledge. I still don't know what he meant by that. But still, it didn't matter to me back then. I thought that if I could use magic, I could be like him, but I was not born with talent, no strength of magic circuits, no accumulated works of magic handed down for generations. The work of magic Kiritsugu possessed, the magic crest passed down to Emiya family can only be passed on to a blood relation, eh, which you were not, damn that sucks for you homie. A magic crest forces a rejection on those with no blood relation. Also sounds very unpleasant. So as an adopted son, I could not receive the Emiya family's magic crest. Well, anyways, as I don't even know what a magic crest is, it doesn't matter if I have one or not. Really, why is that? So now, all it comes down to is training what I can do. If I want to be a magus, I have to learn magic fit to my nature. To be blunt, magic is a way to release one's magical energy. You could say that magical energy is my life force. Wait, so are you learning how to use your life force as magical energy? But if that's the case, then won't you die by using it? It is divided into two forms, a large source, mana, floating around the world, and a small source, Odo, created inside oneself. It goes without saying that the large source is superior to the small one. The power of mana 
is only on a completely different level from Odo. Whatever the form of the magic, a spell using the large source far exceeds one using only one's own power. That is why Superior Maggie, or Maggie, excel at drawing magical energy from the world. It's like a filter. A magus turns his body into a filter, sucks up the mana from the world around him, and changes it into something he can use. This filter is what we call a magic circuit. This is the talent one is born with, and the number of the magic circuits within you is determined the moment you are born. A normal human does not have any magic circuits. To begin with, there are, are always very few. That is why Maggie or Maggie pile them up generation after generation, making their children more suitable to use magic. Hashtag Tosaka family. I hear some families go too far and increase the number of magic circuits by selective breeding. Yeah, that's messed up. Like, damn, dude. Well, actually, I don't know. Like, like selective breeding can be different things. It depends on what you mean by selective breeding. Because if you're just going to go find another Magus and uh, have a child with them so they can have more affinity to magic, then, I mean, I mean if that's what you want to do, then go ahead. As long as it's not killing babies and all that other stuff. Now, that's just, you can't do that. Well, since I was raised in a normal family, I don't have many magic circuits. So that leaves only one method open to me. According to Kiritsugu, every person has at least one form of magic they are fit for. He said something about drawing out magical energy appropriate to their origin, but I didn't really understand. All I know for sure is that even I have some magic I can use, and if I train that magic, I may be able to become like Kiritsugu. That is why I learned only that magic. What's that magic? That was eight years ago. After a lot of thought, Kiritsugu finally accepted me as his student. So, in essence, kill yourself. I guess I had no fear as a child. Kiritsugu smiled bitterly, putting his hand on the nodding Emiya Shiro. But he said he hasn't had progress in years, though. This is really weird how the lines are being are still the lines are being spoken, but there's like no no text on the screen of what he's saying. I guess Kiritsugu didn't want me to become a Magus. I don't care about that. I don't admire a Magus. I admire Kiritsugu. If I can become like Kiritsugu and be there for someone like on that red day, that will be What the hell? I'm thinking needlessly. You just messed up your concentration, didn't you? I feel the iron rod in my backbone slide into place. The hell? What's happening? If I lose control of my breathing now, it would be a fatal mistake. The artificial mag uh, magic circuit will eat away my body and destroy it. If that happens, I'll die. I would be only an amateur failing such an elementary step. 
I grind my teeth and resume the connection. After a battle like walking on needles, the iron rod finally arrives deep within me and fuses with my body. This process took me about... It took that damn, dude! After that much time, I'm finally able to make one artificial circuit. One circuit that produces magical energy. After that, it becomes a process of naturally flowing magical energy. Emi Ashido is no magus. He is only a magic user who can create magical energy within his body and channel it into objects. So there's only one magic possible, which is... Comp Does that mean he can create things? or Oh, strengthening objects. It is a magic of strengthening that reinforces the object's abilities by understanding the object's structure and channeling magical energy into it. Before me is a metal pipe. I will channel magical energy into it, perform the simplest magic, and re reinforce its durability. Basically, channeling your magical energy into something other than yourself is like pouring poison into that object. It is just as the blood of Emiyashiro is not the blood of the metal pipe. Pumping different blood only accelerates its breakdown. It certainly wouldn't strengthen it. To prevent that and to turn the poison into a tonic, one must completely understand the structure of the target and channel the magical energy into small open spaces. This man is going hard right now. Composition? It must be easy for a skilled magus, but for me, who cannot even create sufficient magical energy, it's as hard as hitting a target hundreds of meters away. The usual target in archery is 27 meters away. Hashtag Surune. How much harder is it at many times that distance goes without saying. The heat in my body quickly escapes. The burning pillar in my backbone disappears and the lungs stretch to the limit demand air. That took a lot of effort now, didn't it? I arc my back to hold off the daze, almost making me pass out. There's no change in the metal pipe. It seems that the magical energy I poured into it has evaporated into the air. So, were you trying to change it into, like, a weapon? The thing I'm attempting is, like, adding something to an already complete work of art. Adding to a complete object risks making it less perfect. Adding unnecessary things will actually decrease the value. That is why the magic of strengthening is simple yet difficult, and only a few Maggie use it willingly. It's not like I use it willingly either, but it can't be helped as this is the only thing I'm good at. I mean, and it can be argued that you're not even good at it, to be honest. It would be much easier if I could just form something out of clay and use it instead, but a substitute in appearance doesn't have the internal structure to match. The junk around here is a good example. When I fail with strengthening magic, I make some substitute objects to practice and to calm down, but they all end up with nothing inside. I can visualize something's structure easily, so I can make the outside look like the original, but it's empty inside, and of course, it doesn't do anything. 
I wipe the sweat off my brow. Now that I think about it, I realize my whole body is sweating, like I've been drenched with a bucket of water. But I'm lucky it just ended like this. That was really bad. If I'd taken a second longer to recover myself, I would probably have destroyed most of my body and Sakura wouldn't appreciate that, boy. It's not even that easy, but it is true that you won't improve your magic if you're scared of death. As long as you study magic, death is always right beside you, even as a simple magic repeated every day can go off with a simple mistake taking the caster's life. So Rin has already accepted death then? Kiritsugu said so sadly, maybe he meant that he didn't want me to take such a step. Kiritsugu said that to me when I told him I wanted to be just like him. I still don't know what he meant, but Emiya Shiro has to become a superhero who goes around saving people just like Emiya Kiritsugu. You just need to step your game up, homie. It's not enough to understand the structure of an object with mere vision. A skilled magus only detects what's important and channels magical energy without waste. My dream is to become a superhero. I remember what Fujine said during dinner. I don't think it's embarrassing nor impossible. It's already determined Emiya Shiro will succeed Emiya Kiritsugu. That's why even though I'm inexperienced, I've done everything I can. I don't know what kind of person a superhero should be. So I can only approach it by helping others within the limits of my abilities. I have aimed straight for that goal for the past five years. But when things just go wrong like this, I do have doubts. <sighs> you can stop sucking. That's what you can do, buddy. I look up at the sky through the window. It's not like I can just randomly do good deeds. I think being a superhero is different from just helping others. I know that, but the question is, how can I become one? The difference between the two is the thing I failed to understand for the past five years. <laughs> 